Welcome back to part three. We're sorry. This was supposed to be like a 15 minute thing and we're... I'm, er, at, but... Er. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, here we go. And at this point, the rest of the tracks from here on are kind of meaningless and worthless, which is precisely why we should talk, devote the next hour and a half to those particular, particular ones. Especially the last one. The last one by far. Oh, absolutely. Excuse me. <laughs> As a man who's done a cover of this last song, I obviously have an hour and a half worth of time to devote specifically to that song. Oh, God. <laughs> right. Anyway. So, yeah, the outtakes... The outtakes are... Um, Derriger for Psycho Stick albums. Like, it was either on... Um, it was one of their... Like, their third album, I want to say. Something around that point that they actually titled it of course we included outtakes yeah well i mean it's a comedy album so you kind of expect something along these lines so yeah mm. it's i mean it's some of them you know some of them you're kind of like okay i haven't heard that song yet why are you putting outtakes for a song that hasn't even been released yet in, yeah. the, in the track list i feel like that that it should have been put as like the second to last track uh, like yeah. you know, for, for like mild critiquing of an outtake, I don't know why I do that, but it's, it's here, so fuck it, I'll do it anyways. Mm. So yeah, that's that's a, I don't think really gripe there. I mean, it's it's outtakes. What do you expect? But there's a couple yeah. of songs that are obviously after the outtakes, not counting the last one, that they have outtakes of, and you're like, but well, I don't even get the joke yet. So why? Yeah, I feel like yeah, I need was... some sherry and chardonnay right now. I feel drunk. <laughs> Yeah, you just you just have a bit of a well. I I need context. Can I have some context? Yes, and that's mildly frustrating. But otherwise, it's funny. You'll get some giggles. Yeah. Whether it's contagious or not, you'll get some giggles from it. So. Yeah, particularly the times when Rob is sort of like, wait, hang on. Where he's, <laughs> he starts to sing and goes like, <laughs> like orgasm equals yada yada blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> You know, his goofiness. So moments like that. Yeah. After that, we have, we have, and it's just as well we're past the moment where YouTube will judge us for. Stop it! Stop! Damn we? What? It's it's based upon the song. I I can't draw a penis because. <laughs> You know, camera. So there's the two testes, and there's the pee pee. It's 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 a chode. It's having a really hard time. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Is this is this better? No, it doesn't really work either. Just roll with it. Just no. <laughs> I, was gonna say, uh, yeah, I can go grab a dildo if you want, but I feel like that would be a little <laughs> over the top. I, I think we might get TOS problems there. Yeah, you don't want your channel deleted, so I'll yeah. behave. Yeah. So the song itself is called Cock Block. Not like, uh, not uh, phrased uh, like that, but I just, I had to emphasize, really. It, it, it might be, it might not be said in that particular intonation, but that's certainly the sentiment of it. Well, I mean, it's cock blocking, so of course, I mean, let's, let's yeah. be honest with ourselves. It's intended specifically uh, to make you feel, oh, not really. And, and it's kind of funny because... At first, you kind of worry that maybe it's going down the nice guy path. But no, it's just outright going, Oh, come on! Stop! We, we, us two, we're having a good time! What is your major malfunction? See, I feel like it's Why? the follow-up to Let's Do the Sex. I feel like it's the follow-up yeah. to that. Like, he's in like, Yeah, let's get going! And she's just like, Pump the brakes. I barely know you. In fact, I don't know you. Who are you again? It's like, but I've been following you on Tinder for like five hours. And she's like, Tinder? I'm not even on Tinder. Who are you? And he's like, but I, I've got baby juice and I need to give it to you in your MacGuffin cave. And she's like, especially not after you use those words. We're, we're going to go someplace completely different here. 
I, uh, there's several so uh, obviously we're not going to dissect because it's telling the joke it's explaining the joke and that's the worst thing you can do for a comedy album which is but, why i'm using complete euphemisms are not including the song whatsoever yeah all, all i'm going to say is it goes through several degrees of types of person that can incur a cock block exactly and we will leave it at that because i want people to experience this <laughs> this for itself. Yes. Now, let's talk about the next song. Obviously, we're going to use a new format for this particular song. It's going to be ASMR. So, for all of you listeners out there who really love the sound of weird, wet voices, I don't really know why you like this, but we're going to talk instead very carefully about the song I Saw. A song about apps and the apps that the developer should develop specifically out there in the universe. Psycho Stick <clears throat> has great and brilliant ideas, and these ideas were then put together in a song. And I don't know why I'm talking so quietly, but I'm going to continue to do this because it just, that just is what it is. So now, here in NPR, we're going to talk about all the apps that Psycho Stick wanted developed, including one for telling people. To go fuck themselves. And also, ones that cure cancer. No matter how impossible that might seem. And I'm going to stop this because ASMR actually freaks me out legitimately. And moving back to normal speech. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> That was an experience just for you people out there and for the few people who were turned on by this. Shame on you! Like we can it's kind of just a... actually mix a couple of these ones all together. Like, from tough yeah. love to, or to orgasm equals love, I feel like you can kind of just blend those two together. They're both funny. Yeah. I mean, the orgasm equals love is their live version of a song that's been around forever. And I'm sure at some point yeah. you guys have probably heard this. If you haven't, it's very inappropriate as a warning. And the live version mm. is far worse than usual because <laughs> Rob just loses it and just starts discussing every horrifying sex act he's ever even imagined. So... To the band reacting. At first, but eventually they just kind of go with it. They're like, Rob is broken. All right, sure. And it equals love. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it is what it is. Those stupid... Yeah. What is that? Stu those stupid ifs? Yeah, I mean the mu the, like the instrumental parts are amazing. I didn't really pay attention to the mm. lyrics by that point because I think my brain had melted from orgasm <laughs> equals love. If I'm honest, uh, I I will admit I don't remember the lyrics of those stupid as <laughs> much as well. And it's not because we were trying to pay attention. It's just because there's 30 tracks to this album, and by this point yeah. your brain has gone to mush. And you're just like this is awesome. So yeah. I love the instrumental. I have no idea what the song was about. It could have been about either summoning the devil or your mom is a sweet woman. It could have been either or. I don't remember. I'm honest. I, I, I will. I, I will just. Fortunately, I've got the desktop audio switched off, so I can just very quickly so go. Oh yeah, that's what the song was. Oh yeah, it's the really dark, brooding one. I, I told you the instrumental like, was great. I remember that. I just can't remember yeah. much else. So. I'll go grab my bite. I'll go grab my bass real quick. I'll just jam out. Like, yeah. <laughs> you joke. You think I'm joking? Oh yeah, that could... I was gonna say I'll go grab my bass, motherfucker. I'll go do it. <laughs> I, I mean, they do go on. Like the opening riff is. Uh. How long does it go on for? It's a while. It's a while, which is why I think that's the only part I could genuinely remember because I was like jamming, grooving out to that. It was a genuinely good listen. Just I'm not sure what the lyrics yeah. all were about. <laughs> As I said, it could have been about either summoning the uh, summoning the devil or your mother's really sweet. It could be either or. Based upon the based upon the title, it's probably about somebody you know being frustrated. Oh yeah, it's, that that's what it is. It's another one of their comedy breakup songs, essentially. Ah, okay. Well, there you go. Now you know. Yeah. It. I mean, the music itself was great. 
the lyrics I don't remember. And it's not because I wasn't trying to pay attention. It's because by that point, I think just fatigue had set in. So, yeah. And I think it's also my brain was just so excited to hear the next one. So the next one, the last song on the album. So um, we ran out of CD space again. Is both amazing and fuck you. <laughs> Purely because yeah, we of the ending. Both, yeah, we we were both eagerly. I, I think we were both eagerly awaiting an actual follow up to we ran out of CD space, which was back on Sandwich. Yeah, it's or, it's like their second or third album. It's old. Yeah, uh, and um, <laughs> we we were both sort of like, yeah, we're gonna get a follow up to that song, and. It's basically it isn't. What it, it's just a it's just a a, it's, a much more improved version of the original with an incredibly yeah. minor tweak at the end and the, uh, the instrumentals changed. Uh, originally, it was just done with a done with a bit like a acoustic guitar. This time, it was done with an mm. amazing pianist. I don't know who played, but they were incredible. If it's a member of the band, awesome. Yeah. If it's not, uh, whoever they got was incredible. It was a really good job on the on the piano. The song itself, Rob really upped his singing for this. Like you can tell, he's really evolved over time. He does a really good job. Mm. Although the puppy part was a little less enjoyable, it was just kind of just goofy by a certain yeah, point. Yeah, there was there was something there was something a bit off with how he was saying the puppy doggies. Yeah, it wasn't as good as the original. That's like my only real yeah. critique there. And it's just at the end of it, they even just go. And we're going to cop out and not actually finish the song and just fade out. And then they fade out. And that's how they end. And it's, <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> you could have... You, uh, you were the chosen one, Anakin! <laughs> <laughs> so I refuse Which to acknowledge that regret. ending. And I'm going to put in my own. And, 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 then, and then there was a ninja robot. And then the ninja robot was your dad. Oh, wait, that's already in the song. And, and, and then we're going to go get pizza. And it's going to have extra cheese. And, and, and then we're going to eat it. And then we're going to go get ice cream. And that's how the song ends. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway. But, yeah. <clears throat> Overall, after this long tangenting winding diatribe of a review that it's gonna be a nightmare to edit i don't know what I'm you're talking about i'm gonna leave in all my men all my mentioning of how this is going to be a nightmare to edit i feel like in the future okay. what we just need to do is just live stream these reviews and just call it a day okay so after all this what's your overall opinion of the album worth buying honestly pick it up it's yeah. worth buying yeah really good there's some yeah. like there's yeah. some minor lulls, but for the most part, it's good. Yeah. Uh, just just as a quick quick thing, so that people who might catch older older episodes, I have retired previous um, rating format, so we're no longer doing the out of five stars system because I felt like that was limiting things a bit too much. And also, there's a certain point where you review so many albums that you go, uh... This album is one water bottle, one empty water bottle out of five stars. <laughs> yeah, you, you do. So you do get into the, well, I'm give, I've am i given this album, say, three stars, and I've given this album three stars. Am I saying they're actually of equal quality? Or am I just saying that's how much I enjoyed each of them. And you, you get so many questions that it's just... So, basically, all it's going to be is... Yay or nay? Either... Well, not quite a yay or nay. It's going to be a... Is the album glorious? Or would we call it a sin? Ooh. Or is it somewhere in the middle? Psycho stick. You have sin. I like how that I like how that fits. I like that. <laughs> I take that. <laughs> so in this camera, or this camera, or this camera. No, I'm kidding. That's that's a different show. Uh, just watch some motherfuckers going to cap caption that, and that's all that people are going to think you think of the album. What psycho stick you have sinned? Yeah. Ooh. 
That could literally just be like the, the like the, <laughs> the actual thumbnail. Psycho stick, you have sinned. <laughs> but yeah, so which would you say it falls under? Oh, it, it's definitely glorious. Like there are, it's like glorious. I would say like in the upper upper echelons of glorious, not quite top, but pretty close to like the top. Like you know, as far as for like mm. on my screen here, you got like say glorious, you got like media like meandering, and then you got like you know sin. It's like about here. It's it's at a comfortable, pretty close to the top of glorious. But there's a couple of tracks that you know take it or leave it. But for the most part, I was giggling, smiling, or otherwise enjoying myself for the majority of the majority of the album. Which is good, you know. Yeah. I can put it on play. There'll be a couple times where I might want to skip it because it's like, oh, I've heard that plenty of times. I can I can skip that and not miss anything. I have a feeling that if yeah. I played this while driving passengers, they may or may <laughs> not appreciate it. But I, my my personal enjoyment is what matters in this particular case. And fuck my passengers. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I'm in the same position. It's just it it's not absolute, you know. Wonderwall. Well, it wouldn't be Wonderwall because I hate Wonderwall. Um, hey, you leave Oasis alone. Just because they tried to murder each other is beside the point. <laughs> but in all seriousness, it, it's abs. It is a glorious album. It. I was laughing for ninety-five percent of it. The only bit that had me going eh, was things like the Toe Jam and Earl because. I don't have that. And I get that. That makes sense. Just because you have no real past <clears throat> history with them. So it makes sense. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed this album. And I I eagerly encourage everyone to get it. Yeah. So there you go. You, got, you have the, the Edmund Scrivens stamp of approval of it's good. Very good. And yeah. random idiot over here stamp of approval. So obviously that really <laughs> should carry a lot of weight in the music industry. Yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, uh, so wrap it, wrapping it up finally, uh, go get this album. Uh, next time I appear on camera, which don't know when that'll be, it might be another situation like this because I'm, I'm still in recuperation mode because of, shoulder and arm problems and basically it's a lot more difficult to just sit down in front of a camera and yeah. do all the stopping and starting than it is to just do something like this this is why he brought me along he was trying to keep himself energized and i think i've done a terrible job <laughs> um but yeah so uh don't know what the next album to come to discuss might be if people want to leave recommendations we can have a look at those the only thing i know for definite that will be a fully scripted thing well there's two things one of them hmm? scripts are boring <laughs> uh, the only reason i'm doing it scripted is because it's patreon stuff so i've got to <sighs> hey i'm i've got a I've got to show a bit of professionalism when I'm getting paid for it. Sell out. <laughs> I've watched through three versions of Jesus Christ Superstar for this bloody project. Of course, I'm going to put... <sighs> but yeah, the, the only thing I know for definite is at some point down the line, once I'm more physically able i'm going to be doing a series of discussion videos going through three different versions of jesus christ superstar that's going to be the original 1973 movie version um, oh boy. A, a 2000 production of it oh boy oh no and a 2000 and, and a 2012 version of it oh god now I'm not going to give too much away, aside from this. As far as my opinion goes, the ranking goes 2000 version, 1973 version. Now, are we talking as in like from greatest to leadest, at least, or least to greatest? Um, my preferred. Uh, versions. Okay, so first one would be best, last one would be worst? Yes. Okay. 
as you can note, I took a long time to mention the 2012 version. Meaning... The only save... <laughs> Literally, the only saving graces of that version are that you've got Tim Minchin playing Judas. You know, there's definitely worse actors. And, um... Is that, like, the only saving grace for that? The guy playing Jesus is a decent enough singer, but he's a bit lacking acting-wise. So it's like Mariah Carey, basically. Okay. And um, the guy playing Caiaphas, who must have had a bad back after he was carrying the weight of all the other <laughs> priests. <laughs> He's literally the only one of the priests that can sing. Oh no. Oh no. Which, and just as a bit of a behind the scenes thing, Ooh. he was one of the pri one of the um, secondary priests in the 2000 version. So it's got an upgrade. But as I say, they're the only saving graces of the 2012 version. There were several points where I actually actively was going, how much more of this fucking thing is left? <laughs> 45 minutes! Oh, I'm overheating. Oh, no. Oh, no. You can... But the only other thing that I've got formalized and that script is actually finished it's just me waiting to run it by a few proofreaders to go um modify this bit and then you'll be <sighs> fine uh is my rant about the gary jules cover of mad world you and that song i don't know why you hate it so much because I love the original, and I find the cover a travesty. Well, you're a travesty. Yeah. The feeling's gonna get go on, it's travesty. Hey, no Bee Gees allowed, okay? We already discussed this. <laughs> I love the Bee Gees too much. You can't ruin them for me. <laughs> no, Steps already did that. No, I've just been ruined by some of the other albums you've had me listen to. Okay, so now that we've talked about that, we've talked about the album, we've talked about all those things, we have one final thing to talk about, and that is to say, we love you. Thank you, audience, for getting well, this far. We are so sorry, honestly. I know that this has been a complete and utter mess. I know I'm a mess. I know Edmund's a mess. I know this whole, whole review has been a mess. So if you've gotten this far, please please click subscribe, please click like, do all the YouTube nonsense. If you really enjoy this and want to torment your friends, send this review to a friend. Or definitely go check out Psycho Stick. Like, honestly, go check out Psycho Stick. Check out their merch. Mm. They've got some amazing t-shirts. They always rotate their stock. Honestly, support this band. They are great guys. Go check out their Twitch. they got a great Twitch show almost every week. Um, the band members are all very reproachable. Oh. If you want to go over and reach out to one of the guys, you can always do so. They'll gladly talk to you within reason. Obviously, you can't go show up to their house. Don't be crazy. Don't be a psycho. But by all means, reach out to the guys. Let them know that you appreciate their work. They really do love their fans. Yeah. I, like, I've been able to have direct interactions with them, and they've been the loveliest guys. They've been very understanding, and if you're having a shitty time, they'll ha happily listen, and they'll be sort of like, yeah, we get, we get why you got what you got out of this particular song. So. Yeah, and like, I've had conversations with Maddie, I've had conversations with Rob, um, I've irritated the piss out of Josh, and I know I've irritated, I've possibly scared Alex, because, you know, it's it's just fun to irritate and terrify people online. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't scare you too bad, guys. I do apologize. Sorry. But, you know, as stated, they're, of, all the, of all the bands I've ever tried to reach out to, these guys are by far the most approachable, without a doubt. Yeah. Like, the only ones who come close is a band that no one who, no one's ever heard of before called The Ziggins, where when I went to a live show twice, they recognized me and my dad, which was saying something. Mm. So, yeah, like, these guys are super approachable, yeah. super friendly. If you haven't had a chance to listen to their music before and somehow stumbled upon this review, please check them out. You'll have a good laugh. You'll have some good times, hopefully. And then, at the end of it, share it with a friend. 
Yeah. Just a last note, if you want to see more of us for whatever torturous personal reason, we both have our YouTubes, we've got our Twitch channels, links will be in the description. Down below. Um, and also, if you want to support us in any way, there is the Patreon. Uh, it's l low, lowest bar entries of like, I, you can pay a, like, obviously it's on British currency and all that. So you can say a pound or a dollar, because it, yeah. if I remember correctly, you can also you can also support the Patreon for a single dollar, un dollar. Yeah. So if you are in a position where you can, then awesome. If not, no worries. Like as, as we've said, if you've gotten this far, then you're you're a real true blue. Or you fell you've asleep. Really been... If you fell asleep listening to us, <laughs> hopefully your dreams were full of joy and mirth and not the nightmares. If you've been entertained by this, please do like, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. I read all the comments. I'm sure his emotional when you yeah, his emotional turmoil is caused mostly by the lack of lack or <laughs> the inclusion of comments depending on situation. And I've I've also suffered from a few of those. So please, the hateful comments are really helpful. We appreciate them, incorporate them, and slowly plan to murder everyone. I mean, I'm just going to do a call out for one of the um, negative comments I received on uh, one of my videos, which was basically going Stop telling me to cut it. I, I, I need to put this to task. Uh, it was going... It basically said... Um, it was saying terrible quality. And of course, you've got the dislike switched off. It's sort of like... One, you've not said anything helpful. So why bother commenting? Two, this is after YouTube switched off the dislikes. I mean, to be fair, I I've clicked the dislike to... on your on your page plenty of times because you are kind of kind of just meandering and boring, and the quality of your videos are usually pretty crap, especially the ones I edited. They were really crap. <laughs> but in all seriousness, it's sort of like <clears throat> this was uh, like this was back in February of this year, so it's after the dislikes were switched off by YouTube, YouTube automatically. So it's all Edmund. Like, it was um, you specifically who did this, and your fault. How dare you? And you will be punished. Like, I, like the whole switching off of the dislikes is really stupid because it it doesn't help anything. Yes. There, a couple of the negative comments that I've received have been rather stupid, but it's fun to receive them so I can laugh about them in future videos. Um, yes. But anyway, we will finally wrap up. Uh, yeah. For like the fifth or sixth time, we've got more endings than bloody Lord of the Rings. The Eagles! They're finally coming! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was bad. That was a bad joke. That was a bad joke. Anyway, uh, yeah, so... Um, I don't know what the next review will be, but... Um, Just pay attention we'll to probably, his social media. Yeah, I'll, I'll say what um, the next... Actually, that would be a good idea, actually announcing what the next review will be for once. <laughs> I am so bad at all of this. See, this is why you're never going to get to 350 million subscribers. It's because you're just so shit. You're just so shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it for this week. And just remember, from the bottom of our hearts, that orgasm equals love. And if you ever want to know where the soul lies, spread the butt cheeks, look inside the asshole, and that's where the soul lies. Bye bye, folks! Bye bye! <laughs> oh my god. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Because I get asked all the time, they're like, you've got this amazing voice, you should go ahead and have a podcast. So, I'm going to have to tell people, yeah, I got a podcast, alright, and I'm so sorry about the content. <laughs>